Elimination Chamber is WWE's pay-per-view named after its marquee match. With this being the first appearance of the Chamber since last year, WWE decided to hold two championship matches within its walls. So how were those matches and how was the show as a whole? Allow me to explain. The action started on the kickoff show with Zack Ryder taking on Stardust. It was an okay match, but the crowd didn't really seem to be into it. Stardust won and hopefully that means he is back on track in WWE. The first match on the official Elimination Chamber card match was the Tag Team Championship Elimination Chamber match between the primetime players, Los Matadores, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, The New Day, The Ascension, and The Lucha Dragons. This was a fun match with a ton of action and a lot of cool spots. The Lucha Dragons looked good and El Torito even had some time to shine. In the end, however, The New Day retained by last eliminating the primetime players. This was a good match that really highlighted the tag team division, which is really heating up as summer starts. Next was the Triple Threat Divas Championship match between Nikki Bella, Naomi, and Paige. This was a good match and one of the better women's matches of the year so far. In the end, Nikki retained her title, but I don't think this feud between her, Naomi, and Paige is over yet. What followed was a match of the year candidate as US Champion John Cena took on NXT Champ Kevin Owens. This match was phenomenal as these two guys put on an amazing performance. The belt had drama, high octane athleticism, and in the end, Kevin Owens proved that he deserves to be on their main roster in WWE as he pinned Cena in his very first match on main WWE programming. If you don't know who Kevin Owens is, look up Kevin Steen matches from Ring of Honor. They are fantastic, just like his match against Cena was. Hopefully this means Owen gets a permanent spot on the main roster very soon. Next was Bo Dallas and Adrian Neville in a battle of NXT alums. They had the tough task of following Owens vs Cena. The match itself was pretty good, but the crowd was worn out from the bout before and wasn't really lively during the match. Neville got the win here as he continues to build up his momentum and get over with the crowd. The Intercontinental Championship Elimination Chamber match was next and it featured Mark Henry, Sheamus, R-Truth, Ryback, Wade Barrett, and Dolph Ziggler. This match was okay, but nothing special. It was the worst Elimination Chamber match I have ever seen though, and Ryback won the match and the Intercontinental title, which was a huge shock to me. I thought Barrett or Sheamus would win, but Barrett was the first one out and Sheamus was last eliminated by Ryback. It'll be interesting to see what WWE decides to do with Ryback now that he has a title. Perhaps Bray Wyatt will cross his path once again. The main event WWE Championship match between Seth Rollins and my boy Dean Ambrose was next. This match was great as expected. The ending however wasn't. Ambrose hit Rollins with a dirty deeds and pinned him for what seemed like the win and the title. But unfortunately, moments before, Rollins caused Ambrose to hit the referee with an elbow. Rollins was disqualified as a result, meaning Ambrose won the match, but not the belt. After the match, Reigns and Ambrose proceeded to beat up on Kane and j, &J security before they left, with Ambrose taking the belt with him. Overall, Elimination Chamber was another good show put on by the WWE. The first Chamber match, Owens vs Cena and Rollins vs Ambrose were all really good, with Owens and Cena stealing the show with their performance. Personally, I cannot wait to see what happens at Money in the Bank following the results of Elimination Chamber.